Hello, Space Cadets. This is Vector Spaceman coming to you live from Harbor Station, broadcasting on all frequencies to our beautiful planet Earth. Whether you're watching us live or after the show tonight, well, we're glad to have you on board. Thanks for helping us make outer space the place to be, as we rock it into another session of all the things we like to love and love to share. Today is Monday, November 15th, 2021. We're now on to week three of the show, on the back half of our first month of this experiment in independent broadcasting. The weather's starting to change down on, uh, down there on Earth, I can see it from up here. Soon it'll be winter time, or summer time I suppose, depending on your local hemisphere. The point is, it's a time of change. And as the snow begins to fall and we take to our homes and the warm comfort of our computer screens, I just want to say thanks for helping me build this channel. We couldn't have done it without each and every one of our listeners, and I hope we can continue to broadcast for a long time. If you missed yesterday's show, we played some Team Fortress 2, running support classes for some casual payload games, lots of fun and a good way to cap off the week with some light-hearted competition. To stay up to date with all of our broadcasts, be sure to follow Vector Spaceman on Twitter, YouTube, and right here on Twitch. Now, speaking of following the channels, we've reached a unique milestone in the history of this production. Owing to the peculiarities, you might say, of the Twitch platform, we've now reached the point where our earliest streams are expiring from Twitch's video on demand system, meaning that the only way to fully appreciate the Vector Spaceman show from the very beginning is now over on our YouTube channel, the link to which can be found in the About section of this Twitch channel. And I'm continually surprised that uh, people are actually watching the videos posted to YouTube. We've racked up several hours of watch time already. Whether it's actual human beings watching the show though, or I suppose it could be some sort of bot, let's not forget. Whatever the case, I'm keeping an eye on it. And there's a goal I have in mind for the channels. And that's to someday have total watched hours exceeding the runtime of all of our videos. A net surplus of content enjoyed, if you will or a net loss of time wasted, depending on your perspective. I'll let the viewers decide on that. Now before we begin, as always, as always, I would like to take a moment to give a quick shout out to some of our favorite followers, our newest members of the community. As you know, we love to see familiar faces on the show. So for any of you listening live tonight, feel free to drop a comment in the chat and join the conversation. We always love to hear from you. Tonight's shout-out goes to the Crown Prince, Sedona Azola. He's one of our newest followers on the channel. He's a Twitch streamer with a wonderfully intricate design and concept, a Cronian wingman from the far-flung future of the year 1 million AD. I really like this design. Looks like a mix between future trunks from Dragon Ball mixed with some sort of space-born angel. I absolutely adore it. It looks great. Now you can find him here on Twitch as well as over on Twitter under the username Sedona Zola, spelt just like it's seen there on the screen. Your Highness, Prince Sedona, thanks for joining us. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. All right, Space Cadets, let's get started with today's show. Now, let's talk about something, Space Cadets. We need to have a discussion. Let's all chill for a minute. Bring it in and get real for a minute. Maybe we should just start at the beginning. My name is Vector Spaceman. And I am not a Halo streamer. And that might be hard to justify, I know, seeing as over the total history of this channel, we've had around 30% of our streams devoted to playing through the first Halo, uh, Halo game. But that is a statistical anomaly, I assure you, and one which we've already discussed, and decided to push future installments into extended weekend streams or some other format where it doesn't eat up an entire week's worth of streams. And this was all in service of building some anticipation for the release of Halo Infinite, which of course was scheduled to be released in early December. You know, we, we all knew what to expect. But sometimes, sometimes, the universe conspires to move us in such obvious fashion that it behooves oneself to go along for the ride. And Space Cadets, that is exactly what has happened today. You see, today is not, in fact, our first stream. You can check the catalog to confirm this. Indeed, we had a short broadcast earlier this afternoon where we watched the live presentation of the Xbox 20th anniversary panel event 
And the most shocking piece of news to emerge, despite the rumors which had been floating around for some days already, which we had been aware of, mind you, which we had some small hope were true, but also equal hope that they were untrue, was that Halo Infinite's multiplayer would be released to coincide with the 20th anniversary celebration. Which is to say, immediately. Which is to say, presently. Which is to say, right now. And why would they do this? Why jump the gun? Well, clearly, they don't want me to get anything productive done in the near future. But more likely, it's to serve as a just a larger stress test for the game. So that they can keep making minor tweaks and adjustments before the official release next month. That's not unheard of these days. So, we're going to be part of that grand experiment. The lab rats, if you will, that will help shape the future of the next ambitious Halo multiplayer title. Let's hop in and see what's in store as we take our first look at Halo Infinite multiplayer. Let's go over to the big screen, shall we? Now I've gone ahead and kitted us out to look proper. We don't want to jump into a game not representing our best. And of course taking the time to get all my key bindings the way that uh, we need them. But there we are, a perfectly orange spaceman to represent us in this game. Now the reason that this game has gone free to play it seems is because they're they're following the trend of late which is to sell seasonal passes for unlocks and such so I'm gonna have to decide in the near future uh, whether this is something I want to invest a bit of time into or a lot of time into because it's certainly not something that I'm gonna invest no time into but I think we'll we'll come to a, a comfortable equilibrium in terms of how to stagger streams between Halo content and non-Halo content within the first few weeks of this game's release such that we're not overloading it. I know it's not the most popular thing within uh, the so-called uh, VTuber community. It's a... It, 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 uh, what would you say it? Clashes with the aesthetic in some sense. But you know this channel is all about sharing the things that we love and I can't deny I've got deep love for the Halo franchise. Nice thing is they gave us some little challenges to work towards. So what do we got to do today? Play any match. That's easy enough. Complete a capture the flag match. That should be easy enough. Kill an enemy Spartan attacking a friend. I'm sure we can manage that and kill enemy Spartans with a battle rifle five times. And then anything else looks like we got to shell out some money. And this is all in service of getting whatever their equivalent of experience points is so that we can unlock armor customization and, and so on and so forth. And I'm a sucker for that, you know? Ever since they started up in the game with Halo 3, then Halo Reach, there's just something about kitting out your Spartan to look, uh, look battle ready, you know? It appeals to our something deep within our brains. And then, of course, campaign. We're still waiting. December 8th. That's the date. But for now, we can play. We can test out the multiplayer. Let's give it a go. Aimless boost play. Play. That's easy enough. Estimated wait time, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. I'm sure that's owing to the fact that uh, there was such hype surrounding the announcement that this was releasing, this stealth release. It had started floating around as rumors within the past couple days within forums and other communities that we should expect the multiplayer component to release on the same day as the Xbox 20th anniversary. And they were right. Oftentimes, we get hyped up and we come out looking like fools, don't we? But this time it all paid off. The hype paid off for once. Now I did not... Oh! Did we just spawn mid-match? 
We must have. Now, I did not get the opportunity. Oh, jeez. I did not get the opportunity to uh, do any of the beta testing for this game, which has been going on for the past few weeks, I believe. Weeks and months, on and off. But I have watched a video here and there, so I'm not entirely unfamiliar with what's going on. Can we stick it? No, no we can't. Oh, close one, though. Oh, doppelganger right here. Now, what did we have to work on? We gotta get kills with a battle rifle. Let's see if we can't find one of those. It's nice having goals, that the game can give you something to work toward within the game. It gives you something to focus on. Flag return. Power weapons on route. Oh, and we're playing capture the flag, so that's gonna take care of one of those objectives anyways. Come on, come on, come on. Nailed him! Off the rack. You know what this reminds me of is the crossbow from Half-Life 2. The enemy carrier has revealed themselves. And you know, that was back in the mid-2000s, wasn't it? So, if we could figure out ragdoll physics where you could pin a guy to a wall way back then, I'm sure we could do it now. I think that's one of the most uh, common criticisms I hear about this game. That it's a little lifeless in the physics compared to previous installments. Oh, nuts. I got one more shot. One opportunity. Available. Keep forgetting, we're supposed to be doing capture the flag here. I'm just running around shooting men with spikes. I they saw you, buddy. Flag. Where'd you go? We have eyes on the enemy flag carrier. Flag taken. Hey now. Oh, you can't handle my style. Flag returned. Nice. Come on, guy. Oh, is that a double kill? No, oh, it was close though. Ah, nuts! Our flag's open. Oh wait, that's theirs. I'm completely turned around. is what happens when you don't know any of the maps. But hey, it's the first day. I'm sure that's the same case for most people. Now, I'll tell you what does worry me about the game being free to play, though. On the surface. Is that's the exact same way we get a lot of bot problems in games like Team Fortress and in other games that have gone free to play. Return. You know what? I hadn't noticed it until just now. Taken off flag. The enemy carrier has and I probably wouldn't have noticed it for a lot longer if I hadn't read about it beforehand. Is that there is definitely they know where you are. a noticeable change. Power items incoming. We have oh. eyes on the enemy flag In terms of there are eyes on you, Spartan. Player collision. Power items now available. Oh, how do I drop? How do I? Oh. Because now I believe there's no innate friendly fire, which means we don't uh, have to worry about being discriminatory with uh, grenades and such. But also, we can just walk straight through our teammates, which is kind of what I'm used to from Team Fortress 2 as well. But it's definitely, it definitely changes the way you play the game. 
because it does mean you can now sort of skedaddle, hide within your teammates, as it were. This is what I've been training for. Where to go? Did I not just see a vehicle? Our forces have seized the enemy flag. Nice, mate. Go, go, go. Oh, they're making a run for it. They're in a warthog or a mongoose or enemy something. Flag returned. I saw somebody trying to sneak around the outside here. Maybe they got intercepted. Active camo inbound. Ain't that the way it is? I guess I got some good teammates then. All right, but what happened? We must have dropped it. Active camo available. Yeah, they got the their flag back. Have seized the enemy flag. I don't know if I need those subtitles on. That'd be helpful. If you got Enemy bad ears. Flag no scope. Hostile combat. But it's kind of muddying up the UI. May change that at a point. Wild zoom on this thing. What have we got? Three shots left. Oh, there we go. Oh, I should have taken the shot there. Where are you going with it, mate? Power weapons incoming. Gonna have to get a handle for the velocity on this. They have our flag. Yo, Take it back. Power mate. Power weapons now available. Just stole it out right from under my nose. No scope. No scoped is right. It's not hard to get the shot off when they're right behind the guy. I was not paying attention there. Seems like there should be more people on this map, though, instead of just a 4v4. Come on, ghost. Come on, ghost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did that not connect? Oh, no! That's why, yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out how much you gotta lead with that thing. Great weapon, but... Enemy flag return. Active camo that's a big inbound. risk. They have our flag. Take it back. The enemy carrier has revealed themselves. Oh, yeah, get out of there. Beat it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Enemy captured your flag. Oh, did they? They did. Enemy flags in allied hands. Now look at this. I can just pepper in here. I don't have to worry about hitting my guys. Oh, see, that's what I was trying to do earlier. Get the spike off. Now I just did not have the tone. The heck was that? Oh, they must have sniped him or something right before he dropped it. Reloading takes too long, just switch to another weapon. Alright, conceivably we could still win this. Plasma grenades obtained. <laughs> just gotta be swift about it. Okay. That's a hard one. Yeah, 
You guys got it. Our forces have seized the enemy flag. You know what the wild thing is? It's entirely conceivable that I might run into actual Halo streamers while playing this. Or is there a ranked division or something? There could be. I don't think we're gonna get into that. Power items now available. Sudden death. Sudden death. They have our flag. Take it back. We have eyes on the enemy flag. It was a bold strategy. Flag Did not pay captured. off. Flag captured. Oh, did we get him? No, it still says overtime. two to two. Overtime? The heck is overtime? What is overtime and you what was that intro? That looked great. That little third person ready to go sort of move. Ooh. This looks good. Like the new DMR. Could I get an angle? Jeez. Oh! Scant milliseconds away. No, you guys got him though. You got him. Yeah, use that. Use that ghost. You got him. We have eyes on the enemy flag carrier. We can get this. No, 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 you're not going to be invisible. Enemy flag return. Get it, guy, get it. Enemy carrier has revealed themselves. Enemy flags in allied hands. Yeah, I saw you there, buddy. Double kill. Double kill. We love to see it. All right, where's this goon? Yeah, buddy. Victory. We did our part. We can pretend that we contributed to that. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these bad boys. Not a big range of color on them. And I'll tell you what, that's one thing that I'll say I absolutely can't stand. Is that they're trying to gate armor customization and color customization and stuff like that behind a paywall. Behind these armor coatings and what have you. Talk about ruthless. Challenges, challenges. All right, sweet. Two down. What do we got left? Oh, it gives us new ones as well. Okay, how often do those... Two. Okay, so there's levels to this as well. To the daily one. Hmm. How high do these go? Stay off my yard. Kill an enemy Spartan attacking a friend. I guess we didn't get that one. Still got to do the battle rifle. Complete a big team battle match. Well, why don't we start right there then? Oh, and ranked. Okay, I was right. We'll take our time before we get so ambitious. We still gotta acclimate ourselves. And that's right, Big Team Battle is 24 players now, as opposed to the old 16. Let's see how that feels. So I used to always think 16 was a handful. See how it feels having 24 guys running around. With heavy weapons and vehicles. <laughs> and that was still pretty swift in terms of finding a match there must be a lot of people who've been playing all day and you know what that's how you know 
that we're not devoting ourselves 100% to Halo streams. That we had the... What do you call it? The restraint. To wait until regularly scheduled broadcasting hours on this channel to try getting into it. Big Team Slayer, okay. That's pretty straightforward. You know what? I hadn't been super aware of it until right now. But that's right, we don't have team colors anymore. You've just got team outlines. Outkill your opponents and claim victory. But I'm just noticing that, looking at everybody else's colors and such. We got a blue guy, a brown guy, a... What is that? American colored guy? Yeah, it's just red and blue outlines. I guess that's working alright, though. Okay. That was on me. Let myself get exposed. That's what you get. That was a good angle. Oh, did they have the theater and forge mode? No, they didn't have forge mode. Reloading. This forge mode wasn't coming until after the official launch. I remember reading that. But do they have theater mode? Can we go back and look at clips? That'd be fun. Teammate, I'm sorry. I think I'm, yep, getting wasted. There we go. What's the score? 8 to 11? Alright, we're not terribly far behind. We could still, we could still catch up. It's still anybody's game. But I'll tell you what uh, does not help is having zero idea where any weapons spawn. Let's see if we can't get familiar with our surroundings. Teammate got him. Yep. Good job, team. I'm right here with you. In spirit. up some grenades. We'd love to see grenades. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we got that stick. First sticky grenade of our Halo Infinite career. Actually hitting anything from this range. Let's close the gap. Gotta be aggressive. Now I'm seeing on the screen somebody joined. So yeah, that must have been what happened to us last game. We just got dropped mid-match. What is this? Is that the shield wall that I've seen? Structures sort of remind me of the ones you'd see on what was it? Was it Timberland? It was a map that came with the PC version. I'm not 100% sure if it was in the Xbox version of the original Halo. Not sure how these work. Radar 
beacon. Okay, I was wondering how the marker system worked as well, because I saw that when I was setting up my key bindings. Oh, yo, look at that, though. You gonna take it, bud? Free rocket launcher. Right there, for the taken. I'll take your ammo. And I keep forgetting that you can just sprint. As long and as far as you want, as long as you don't get shot in the back. I didn't have much exposure to uh, Halo 5 when they introduced all the climbing mechanics and sliding and stuff like that. So you... Whoops, whoops, wrong key. You gotta be running, then you can slide, but then you're... I guess you gotta get up fast. Ooh, 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 where's that? You're gonna have to get used to the range on these grenades, too. I feel like every game's got a slightly different arc to them. Where are we at? Okay, we're down by 10 points. Toys are ours. We've lost a teammate. Sniper got a headshot on us. Toss him a nade. Cover me. You go, mate. Okay. Definitely going to have to work on staying always in motion. Always be running, always be sliding, always be jumping, always be climbing. Use mobility to your advantage. Should have switched to the other gun, should have popped it off, should have swung around. And I probably would have died there, but at least I would have taken two with me. Lessons learned. We turn losses into lessons, as they say. I definitely got to pay more attention to my radar. Is he blowing up here? Ooh! Just what the spaceman ordered. Let's see how the sniper feels. What was that? More pickups? Don't mind if I do. What's this one? Oh, yo! That's got to be the grapple shot, yeah? It looks like a hook shot. I've never used that either. That could be fun. But first, I'd like to help my team. Let's get Tone. Oh. He got away. Yo, you don't get much ammo for this either. Oh, nuts. I can't hit anything. This is why I played Body Shot Sniper back in the TF2 days. I can't hit a headshot to save my life. Oh. Oh. Is he gonna come out over here? Eyes up. Ordnance dropping I feel like he's gonna be down here. Oh, what was. Oh, from behind. Don't tell me that was their last kill. Oh, that's embarrassing. Good job, other team. You earned it. 360 no scope. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Isn't that a Wayne Gretzky quote or something? But hey, look at that. More XP. We're moving up in the world.
2 kills, 11 deaths. A very poor performance, I gotta say. Alright, what do we gotta work toward now? Still didn't get that friend one, still didn't get the battle rifle. Kill enemy Spartans with a sidekick pistol. Okay, we can do that. We spawn with one of those. Let's give it another go, then. Put me in, coach. The spaceman's ready to rock. They're finding players fast. I noticed after the fact that my own space helmet looks a little bit like the Halo 3 security helmet after I compared the two later on. Entirely coincidental on my part, I assure you. But, uh, but I can't deny that that, that design might have been lurking somewhere uh, deep within my subconscious when we were coming up with a, a visual visualization. What's the game du jour? Stockpile. The jeu du jour, if you will. Stockpile. What is stockpile? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's right. I'm still in big team stuff, so I'm going to get all sorts of objective game types, aren't I? All right, team, let's do this. Oh, wait. Are we... Deposit policy to power up our base. Yeah, okay. No, there's still 12v12, but I guess it just shows you with a little sub-team of guys at the start. Shout out to all these guys. Let's go, team. What the heck was that? Did you just get got? Whoa! Let's get some sidekick pistol kills. But that's rough. Run that ammo for this. Oh, buddy. Oh, dear. That's what you gotta do. Whip around, head down, and keep running. Reduce your hitbox. One policy, Not much ammo left, Spartan. No, we got six shots with that left. That's no good. The assault rifle does all all right at range, though. That's a nice change of pace. Okay, so hold up. I'm seeing stuff on screen. These are the power cells they're talking about. A gift from the heavens is inbound. People are picking him up. Enemy team secured a power seed. Power seed, sorry. Whatever you want to call them. Oh, okay. That time, that threw me for a loop. I saw more blue on him than red. Maybe I'm going to have to change those outline colors. One power seat closer. Way to go, We're team. One power seat closer. <laughs> oh boy. He and his buddy. I'm with you, friend. Let's rock. This is what Halo's all about vehicular combat. I'm still up, mate. Why'd you leave me here? Consider this posse assembled. Enemy team secured a power seat. I found out you can do this. You press a button, you can swap seats. 
Isn't that great? You can drive yourself around. Pull off some slick moves. Drive right into the thick of it. Whip into the gunner seat behind enemy lines. Take him down. Not very helpful here, but if we were playing uh, Big Team Slayer, and you got no teammates to help you out, then why not? The enemy has stolen a power seat. Stolen? On the field. That's crimes, mate. That's space crimes, mate. Let's get him. Where's he at? A gift from the heavens is inbound. We're one power seat close. Enemy team secured. Oh, needlers. We love to see needlers. Ah. Should have got the pistol out. Finished him off with that. Would have at least gotten that uh, XP. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure the scoring on this game type. The enemy has stolen a power seed. But the enemy has stolen a power seed, and they've got one point, whereas we have zilch. So let's Instead get out there and fix that. So I see power seed icons all over the place. Your team has oh, that was a close power. one. Ground vehicle on route. Could have taken it, mate. You really could have. That's what you get. No? Alright. Give me these guys one a rod. Come on, fella. It's only smoking. Okay, so you get a certain amount of power seeds, and then you get a point. We don't have that many power seeds. That's why we have no points. Your team just scored. Hey, we scored. We're on the board. Power seed stockpile incoming. Get him, fella, get him. Oh boy. We got totally hijacked. Power seeds are ready to secure. They're under us. Cover me. Cover you. Grenade out. So we gotta be stealing power seeds. Because there's only gotta be so many on the map, right? Steal power seeds. And there's free ones that are around the place. So get those ones, steal ones from the enemy team, get points, and then it resets. I suppose. I suppose. That's the way it's looking at it. Got the pickup. Our team has loaded a palace. Our team has loaded a palace. There we go. Shots, There's some XP for us. Rolling this wheel on down the road. The enemy is at half power. Your ammo reserve is depleted. Oh, okay, well, yeah, that's what you get when you distract yourself. I deserve that. Have one power seed remaining. Oh, they got us. Well, that game was a crapshoot, anyways. That's what happens when you go in not knowing what the game type is. Oh, look at that. Rewatch and share your best or worst. And let's be honest, it's worst in my case. Moments in theater. So they must have the theater mode all ready to go. That's great. Get some XP. All right, we're on the board. What else can we do for you, game? 
still the same ones, and play any matches. All right, let's try then. The 4v4 again. Hopefully we won't get capture the plague again. But a little smaller 4-on-4 four -four action should be good. A slayer mode or, or something like that. That would be nice. Give us more chance to get used to actual gunplay in this new game. Let's see what we got. And again, you find games mighty quick today. See how long that lasts. But I wouldn't be surprised if this week, and especially this weekend, we see a lot of people online. Capture the flag. All right, I was wrong. It's more capture the flag. Great. All right, not that we can't excel and capture the flag. Let's do our best, see what we can do. Come on, fellas. Let's get in there. Claim their flag. Hey, there's that battle rifle. Come on! I should have thrown hands. I should have punched him again. I had the first punch. I should have sealed the deal. Oh! Missed him by a hair. All right, Spaceman, let's play the objective. You'll get your challenge Enemy achievements in due time. The Enemy carrier has okay. Your flag. Well, that one might have been unavoidable. Rushing in like that, two against one. I got what I deserve. They have our flag. They have our flag. Enemy flags in allied hands. The enemy carrier has revealed himself. The thing I thought made the most sense when they started adding the increased mobility options was the... that little short-range burst that you could do from side to side or back and front and stuff like that. You could do that in Halo 5, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're getting smoked here. Overshield inbound. My goodness. I was gonna say if I didn't get him. Hey. Our forces have seized the enemy flag. Oh no, you don't. Flag return. Ooh, buddy boy. Should have picked up that flag and jet jetted. Enemy flag return. All right, we're on level ground though. Rifle does not feel stunning to me so far. Get him, fella. Big Daddy 41585, get him. I'm counting on you. Oh, they got him. They got our man. No ho ho. They got us. They got us so good. 
Well, at the very least, that only took like three minutes. That's going to help my play X many games uh, tracker that's in the challenges there. Little victories, take them where you can get them. Oh, Killjoy, sweet. I mean, it's not great that the enemy was getting killing sprees on us, but at least we put it to to an end. Now, can you choose which... Uh... Let's look at the Slayer, 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 CTF, Strongholds, whatever that is. Oddball. Is there any way to choose which sort of games you want to get slotted into? I'll have to find that out. If I can curate the kind of uh, multiplayer I like to see, just like in TF2, that would be nice. That would be appreciated. Maybe a feature to add in the future. After all, I'm pretty sure part of releasing it, uh, releasing the multiplayer this early, so they can keep stress testing it, keep uh, beta testing it, as it were. All right, what do we got here? Black screen and music. What are we waiting for? Have we just not loaded it? One flat. Yo, is this the... I was gonna say, that shot there looked an awful lot like that one Halo Reach map. The Saber program, right? Ready to rock. Whoa. Screamin' Russell. That's a really good name. <laughs> Let's get in there, Eagle team. Let's do this. Round one. Defend the flag from enemy invade. All right, I guess you got that. What do we got here? I was doing okay with this. This is like the new Mauler, I'm guessing. Not quite the same. But same principle. All right, where the flag is at? Oh wait, one capture the flag, that's not a neutral flag. Jeez. That means one's on offense, one's on defense, okay. Oh, oh wow. Felt like they were expecting me to pop out of there. Wow. You're, you're gonna hide right behind a corner with a rocket launcher, mate? Defend some flags. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Flag return. Good job. So what was that intercept thing that was popping Taking up? Fire. That ghost looks like it's in some rough shape, fella. Screaming Russell, I, I have confidence in you though. Gotcha. Another one for the count. Active camo? That's nice that they give little timers for it so you know when it's going to respawn. That's helpful. Yo, is that? They have our flag. Take it back. Yeah. This is the... Power items on route. Oh, I missed. Woo! But that's a grapple hook right there. I gotta get better with that. Power items have arrived. We love power items this time of year. Active camo here. Flag return. Good job, everybody. Yo, can I? Nope. I was gonna say, can I grapple hook all the way to the other side there? Down there. I'm gonna have to find out what the range is. Reloading. Thirty seconds remaining. Up underway. 
You guys ain't got it. Hey, more grapple hooks. Perfect timing. Round one. Yeah, we won. When all you gotta do is sit on the flag, there's nothing to it. Alright, now we're on offense. Okay, I can get behind this game mode. Yo, good start. I'll take one of those. Alright, so we know a little bit of the layout here. If we go down here... How did that not kill you? I know you're there. Deal with you in a second, matey. Leg is that? Is that a double kill? Oh, suck it! We out. Watch my back, fellas. We got a skedaddle. Oh, you are slow. Oh, you can sprint with it. Perfect. Let's hustle. Can you clamber with it? Down. No worries, we got this in the bag. Wait, where's it supposed to? Out there! Oh no. Okay, there we go. Close. Plant that flag. Eat it! Oh, this might be our first victory. Our first honest victory. The win is in reach, Bob. The win is within our reach. Let's get out there and defend some flags. Alright, that is the rocket launcher. We got him, though. Alright, flag, where you at? Gotta keep an eye on the flag. Is that... okay. Sometimes those outlines, they don't do the trick. Nobody is super good at grenades, it seems. Was that sniper spent? Where did that fall? I guess it's gone. You got contacts? What do we got? I like that the other Spartans give a little, uh, like voice shoutouts. That's helpful. We're not all mutants anymore. Alright, that guy's not gonna be a problem because he's way on the other side of the map that he can't jump across. Active camel available. I want that camo. I can get up in their grill. There we go, I can see him coming. Here you go, buddy. Return. Ten seconds. 
That's right, get elevation on him. Good thinking. Okay, we're wasted. We're getting got. Flawless victory. That's what we like to see. That's the way we like to do it. Good job, Evil Eagle team. Blah. Let's keep that up. I've probably got one or two more games in me before we call it a night. Let's get that sidekick. That challenge finished. We need three more kills. I know what we'll do. We'll do one more 4v4 and then we'll do another 12v12. So with the new player cap, I wonder if there's even room within matchmaking for something like 8v8. Will they still have playlists like that? Are any of the maps built for stuff like that? Because some of the 4v4s felt like they could use a few more players on each side so far. Or maybe I just haven't been sprinting the whole time. Maybe that's... Maybe that's on me. Loading map? Okay, so this is going to be a new map, I guess. Alright, here we go. What do we got for us? I should see if I can get some people to play this with me. Having some situational team awareness would surely take our game to the next level. So if you're listening live or after the fact and you think you'd like to play some Halo Infinite with, with a spaceman, let me know. I'm down for it. that jump we can wow we got hops let's capture the point fellas good Your job team scoring yeah we're let's scoring them try to take it from us. yeah let's see him try okay they're capping a let's get up ends the enemy has captured alpha yeah we'll get him back though Stronghold Bravo is ours. I think he's AFK. I can't risk it. He's on the point. Oh, it's up there. Still learning the maps. Still learning the maps. Let's see them try to take it from us. That's gotta suck, though. A 4v4 and one of your guys is AFK. Where'd you go, fella? Where'd you go? Duck down one of these. Oh, I see where you're at. The enemy has, Bravo. has not. We're taking it back. That guy, I was going to start shooting him. Defend point C. The enemy oh, looks like he's got two shot. guys that are AFK. Not even a fair fight. Killing spree. Killing spree. This isn't even earned. But I tell you what, it's a now good opportunity it. to farm some of that stuff that we need. Send a shot available. I know it's a little underhanded. The enemy has captured Charlie. Yeah. 
I'm always jumping over my teammates' grenades, even though technically they can't hurt me. I think that's something that I would like to see changed, if I'm honest. Halfway to victory. You gotta learn to regret your actions. Sometimes that means not throwing grenades at your teammates. Now that was a sidekick shot that was earned. And that was just poor movement on his part. He could have had me. My math is right, we just need one more. There we go. That should be it. The enemy has captured Charlie. Oh, we'll see about that. Watch your back, fella. <laughs> Cinder shot. Haven't used one of those yet. Stronghold Alpha lost. Stronghold Bravo lost. Excuse me. Enemy team score. Cinder shot. <laughs> Killing frenzy. Killing frenzy. I'm on fire today. Okay. I jinxed myself. I think they might have gotten new guys too. Or at least they picked their controllers up. Your team scoring. Alright, we can't just waltz our way to victory. Double kill. Double kill though. You'd think I'd played a Halo game before. What does that mean? Steak-tacular. That might not have been for me. Oh, that one was slick. And it was all thanks to having an inattentive enemy team. Who knew how far you could get? when you were playing against guys who were asleep at the wheel. All right, we gotta play one more match, so let's do a big team one. And we've made it, level one. Oh, we've unlocked some stuff. Epic backdrop, F-U-I, what is a backdrop? Oh, I see, you gotta have the, the seasonal battle pass unlocked in order to get some of the stuff. Oh, we might end up shelling out for that. We might end up dropping some money. But I mean, really, the... The campaign itself is already going to cost money. Oh, it's just egregious. The way that they, they prey upon you. Your desire to have a, a cool-looking virtual super soldier. It's just criminal. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to have a... Look at all these medals, though. So Steaktacular was, for me, a win a game by dominating the enemy team. Ow. Peak efficiency? Well, you know what I always say, if there's anything that describes Vector Spaceman, it's peak efficiency. Double kill, always rotating, capture all zones in a single life. Hey, that was great. Kill an enemy with a pistol moments after switching to it. They got a much wider range of metals than I'm used to. Good stuff. Alright, one more big team battle, and we'll call it a night. Let's try to end on a, on a good note. Give us a big team slayer or something. Give us a really close clutch match that all comes down to the last minute.
and give me a positive kill death streak if we can swing it. Three players, 24 players, let's go. So it's probably giving us new stuff to do. With a bulldog? What's a bulldog? Kill enemy Spartans. Hey, with the assault rifle, I can do that. I can do that all day. A stretch. Stockpile. Stockpile. All right, fine. At least we sort of know how the game works at this point. We played it once before. We can pick it up. Let's do it, fellas. Let's pile stock. Let's get those energy seeds. Oh yeah. Pop in my Chrysler. It's as big as a whale. It's about to set sail. Yo, that's a ditch. Yo, splattering. I do hope we're in short. Same as it ever was. Still good. Did we get him? All right, swap it. Whoa! So it tells you stuff's going to explode. That's great. That's a useful indicator. Oh, that's too close. That's far too close. There you go. Drunken monkeys is one steely-eyed missile man. Oh, buddy! Thank goodness for those trees. Woohoo! I'm gonna ride this warthog to the grave. Wow, we actually survived. Talk about all time greatest upsets. And look at that, I just passed right through the enemy, or right through my teammate. I should have crashed head first into him. I should have learned from my actions. I should have been forced to deal with the consequences of my mistakes. But instead, no. Nope. Enemy team secured a power seat. You want on the gun, bud? Let's roll. Oh, did you see that? Enemy in the, team uh, secured a power seat. In the text feed there? When I was honking my horn, it told the teammates that there was a turret gunner available at my position. That's good stuff. That's good awareness. That's good game design, mate. Yo, they just got weapon drops. What did they get? If we keep, ha if we keep hassling them like this, you would think that it would give our teammates the opportunity to get some seeds. But instead... Oh boy. I'm getting jacked. Oh, nailed me. All right, they can take that broken down old thing. That jalopy of a space vehicle. Let's get there and try and try and cap some seats. Oh god, it's the same guy. All right, we got to do it. We've got a relationship now. A gift from the heaven. How do we not have one of these power cores? I love it. I love to see it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Oh, now we're gonna get we're gonna get hassled from the air, aren't we? Grenades acquired. 
Your team has stolen an enemy power seed. Oh, look at that. You see that little bar that's filling up there? I'll bet that's how we know when they... When the weapons replenish, right? Nice. Oh, so that's the bulldog. This is the... Enemy team secured a power seed. This isn't a replacement for the shotgun, is it? Do we still have the regular shotgun? This is a little, this is a enemy little different. A power seed. The enemy is at half power. Well, that's not good. All right, let's try to capture a power Target seed then. Why not? Power seed stockpile incoming. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, we got a man in the air. Sweet. Excuse me, what was that? Look at this guy. <laughs> Bulldog, I was wrong about you. Our team has loaded a power seat. Your ammo reserves are depleting. Uh, I pursued too far. team has reached half power. Good job, team. I should try to get one of these power cores. At least. Act like I'm doing my part here. Hey, look at that. Your team just scored. Your team needs one more power seat. Quite the five. Now the leaving them on the ground. Okay, deliver. Let's hustle, fellas. We can get this. Can I still clamber? Can I still climb? I can. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh. Can I still sprint? Doesn't look like it. They're very heavy. Enemy team secured a power seed. Look at that. Power seed secure. All right, one down. Four more to go. Another one down. Another one. Enemy is at half power. Jeez, these guys are absolutely motoring. Come on, guys, let's get out there and pick up some seat. power cells. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Warthog gets more and more accurate as games go on. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Keep your head down. Look at that. Two seeds available. Honk, honk, honk. Now everybody should be aware. Let's rock, fella. You getting in or not? Let's roll. Look at that. Power cell. Get out. Get in. Let's rock. Oh, they got us. So what happens when a team reaches five power cells? Do all the ones on the field disappear, or are they still there? Because it says new seeds incoming. But to me, it looked like there were still enough for, for us to finish filling up ours. Got to move on, mate. Jeez, Louise. I saw in the feed there, somebody's teammate left. Grapple shot acquired. Grapple shot acquired. Oh, yo. Look at that, though. They're just sitting up here. Can I still use... No, I can't use Your equipment. Team stolen an enemy power seed. Let's hustle. What was I saying, though? I saw a teammate. I don't think it was our teammate, but somebody on the other team. It said they left the game. Is there any penalty to quitting mid-game? Does that tie into your 
Xbox Live account or something. Oh, here we go. Another point. Your team just scored. Yeah, we scored. Power seed stockpile incoming. Okay. Maybe we can get one from up top there again. We've still got grapple shots. The enemy has loaded a power seed. Ah, uh, nut. I don't know if these guys know about the big stockpile that's just sitting up there. Oh, this guy knows though. Power seeds are ready to secure. Alright, we're gonna get up in his grill though. We're flying now. Yeah, we're flying now. Oh I was risking it all on his ability to hit me with that thing, but he's got the moves. He's got the touch. Yo, we got a scorpion out there though. Whoops. Doing his business. Oh yo, look at this! Oh god. Oh, I thought I might have been able to hijack it. Your team has stolen an enemy power seed. Good job. Good job. Oh yo. Don't mind if I do though. Our team has loaded a power seed. Dealing with a certified spaceman, fella. Think you can outstrafe me? I don't think so. Flawless. You think I ain't never been in a dogfight before? Yeah, buddy. Got a bugged wing here, though. Our team has loaded a palace. I don't think so, fellas. I don't think so. Your team has reached half power. Yeah, we have. Incredible performance, Spartan. Incredible performance, indeed. Oh, Air superiority. A gift from the heavens is inbound. Oh, I see you, mate. Don't think I don't see you. The enemy has loaded a power seat. These guys don't know how to lead shots. This guy's playing on an Xbox controller or something. That's right. Stay out of my skies. Now explode and die. Thank you very much. Yeesh. All that effort. Oh, did they? Oh, whoops. I thought we'd won there. Oh, no! Yeah, boy! Oh, that's a high note. I'm all right behind the stick on those things. Oh, that was mad fun, son. Mad fun. But, like I said, we're gonna call it there for the evening. I had a good time with that. That's a good first impression of Halo Infinite. Now, I'm sure we'll come back to this again. I'm sure we'll come back to this again this week. But maybe what I'll do is split it up throughout the days so that maybe we do Monday, Wednesday, Friday this. Tuesday, Thursday, something else. I'll figure it out. I'll think it over. We'll see how committed, how devoted we want to get to the game. Because I'm enjoying it so far. But we'll have to see if it captures enough attention to warrant spending too much time on it. Well, Space Cadets, I want to thank you all for tuning in today, wherever and whenever you are. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same place, live at 8 p.m. Eastern, here at Harbor Station. We'll catch you on the other side. Until then, no matter what life throws your way, good luck, 
and Godspeed. This is Vector Spaceman, signing out.